you a quick rundown of the electronics and solar uh, setup we'll be using on our trip to the Bahamas. First off, we ended up getting a set of eco-worthy 100 amp hour uh, panels. These were the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon for about, a, I think it's $109. And that was for both panels. So that's pretty cheap. You can't get much cheaper than that. Um, and then for a charge controller, I ended up going with the Victron 15 amp. Uh, the panels are about five amps a piece. So the 15 amp should do it. And you can get these things for 15 bucks. This is a better one. I want to make sure I had a good one with Bluetooth. Um, and it was $67. So, uh, and to connect everything, just have the cheap extensions to plug right in for your solar panels. And there's about 20 bucks. And speaking of connecting, I am connecting these to a 300 amp hour lithium battery. Um, it was about $350. So the batteries, of course, are a little expensive, but that's 300, and 300 amp hours. So uh, that's, that's quite cheap for a lithium battery. And those things are a game changer. And they're Bluetooth. You can see what's pulling off of them hands down the way to go um, so yeah everyone has their idea on uh, electronics uh, batteries especially everyone has an idea about batteries especially in the marinas uh, in solar setups so uh, that's what I'm using it's a simple setup it's a it's, it's did me well for another projects I've had so that's what I'm gonna use um, and uh, speaking of other used parts actually this might be the, uh, the find of the day here I have an old 741 Garmin for a chart plotter. Um, I got it from a guy, said it's possible lightning strike. I said, here, take it. Well, as I was looking at it, I found, I don't know if you can see this or not, but that is the power supply. There's a broken wire. So uh, yeah, I think that's going to uh, do it for the chart plotter. And you know, speaking of electronics like that, if you're ever in a boat yard, Always, and you see people working on boats, always go up and ask them, say, hey, do you have any uh, other electronics you want to sell, get rid of? I found you go up to the nice boats, the, the high dollar boats, and ask them, and they're willing to give it away. They're always up for the latest and greatest on electronics. And a lot of this stuff looks different, but it's still the same stuff. Um, it tracks you, it's GPS. Especially in the marinas, uh, everyone is upgrading. You go to the bar or, you know, wherever, that's the topic of uh, every every boater. They're talking about how great their electronics are. But the same people that talk about how great their electronics and lithium and all this never take the boat out. It seems like it. They never leave the marina. But uh, so do with that what you want. Don't be afraid to use old stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what we're using. So we'll see what happens. All right, since we're on the uh, topic of electrical gauges, solar, all that stuff on this video, Here's one, something I wanted to show you here. This is a 185 degree temperature switch for a hot water tank. It kicks your hot water tank on or off, but it can be wired in to 12 volt. And you can put this on your exhaust manifold. So you say your raw water pump quits pumping or whatever. Uh, your exhaust is gonna be the first thing to get hot. So you wedge this up against your exhaust manifold as tight as you can or screw it on somehow, whatever, as long as it makes contact with the, uh, the cast iron and then run a couple leads up to a little buzzer little alarm um, this one is uh, 6 to 14 volts this one's old it's from radio shack it tells you how old it is but hey it, it'll work um, and then you run one lead to your hot and, and one lead to the or one lead to the power supply and one lead to the ground so if this gets hot it'll make contact set this alarm off you can even make this run off a 9 volt battery um, standalone system your boat already has uh, temperature alarms built in, should. But when you're dealing with old sketchy boats, sometimes that stuff don't work too good. So uh, this is a simple fix or a backup plan to uh, at least let you know your uh, exhaust isn't getting hot. So uh, that's what I'm using. The last piece is the VHF radio. Uh, we have a standard horizon that was another freebie. Uh, it's a little, it was sitting outside on a helm. It says a little sun baked, the screen's good. Um, it works fine. It'll work, um, and we'll be taking a backup, of course. But uh, the VHF has the uh, the navigation, not navigation, but it has the uh, coordinates uh, displayed. So as long as it'll connect to our chart plotter, which it should, um, it'll work. I want to have that connected so if you do get in a hairy situation, you can hit that distress button, and they know where you're at without trying to uh, 
tell them where you're at. And if the boat goes down, your VHF is on the boat. So uh, it'd be uh, really handy having a floating VHF handheld radio, especially for the dinghy as well. So that's what we're doing for electronics. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get these solar panels mounted up and uh, see how it goes. back out here on top of the boat I think this is going to work yeah right on top of my uh, El Cheapo top here a hundred dollar find is the uh, El Cheapo solar panels I think it'll work right there it's gonna stick over a little bit at the back but I want the top to be able to fold up so I can let this go all the way back to here and then I can still stand up It is covering the solar panels, but if the sun's out, the top's gonna be down because I don't wanna stand in the sun. So, I clear. And just like that, I think that'll work. All right, guys, I got the solar panels mounted. They come out pretty good. They look like they're, uh, you know, they're on there. I think I will put a little bit of uh, support underneath them to hold the top, uh, take some pressure off the top. It's a little flimsy. But yeah, let's get to wiring. All right, I want to give you a quick rundown on how to hook up these solar panels. Real simple. Uh, on the solar panels itself, they come with these leads. So right off the lead, right off the panel, then you just tee it in to your other solar panel with this little tee. Plug it in. That's it. That gives you two leads to go into your charge controller. That's all there is to it. Now down to the charge controller. All right, now I've got that charge controller mounted and we have the two leads here coming from the solar panels and then these two go over to the battery. So that's all there is to it, nothing special. So let's go inside and uh, I'll do a screen recording of the app and show you how to connect it to your phone and it shows you everything you need to know. Okay, all you need to do is open the Victron app and you'll find the device. Then your info pops up right now. It's showing we are making 8 amps already. Really simple. Another cool thing is that you can see what your history is from the previous days. Uh, we just hooked it up so there's not much to show. Uh, one more cool thing that you can turn off is the function of the charge controller. Uh, real simple. To disable it, you're just going to go to battery, hit disable. Boom, it shows you 0 watts coming in. And then go back to battery and enable charger. Go back and check and we're already making 180 watts. So that's all there is to using the Victron charge controllers. Uh, definitely worth the uh, the extra money. All right, back to that old Garmin that I uh, was given. We're going to try to get it fired up and see if we can make it connect to the VHF radio. I got some temporary wire connectors here just to uh, just test it out, see if we can make it work. And if you'll see, if you're seeing this... It worked. So black to black. Let's see, in red to red. That should power the unit. Should power the unit. Um, and then it looks like I read online this was uh, blue to blue. And then gray. gray all right let's see if it works oh we got power uh, hey we have something happening what else we need vhf work 
Oh, we have a VHF. Let's just see if it'll connect now. Nothing so far. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it should have my coordinates right there. Then you hit distress. It'll take you, uh, it'll send a message to them uh, knowing exactly where you're at. Is this working? Let's see, navigation. Oh, there we go. If you can see it or not, but it just picked up our location. I can't see that. It was flashing with a question mark. Then as soon as that question mark went away, boom, popped up. So no coordinates. So, in theory, in theory, if I hit that distress button, they'll know where we're at. So, uh, should be fine. All right, to get it wired up now, permanent, and move on to the next project. I just want to show you what I did for a power inverter. I uh, went to Harbor Freight and got one of those cheap 1500 watt power inverters and hooked it up down here, right beside the battery. And I want to show you what you can run on 300 amp hours. All right, a little noisy down here, but uh, I want to show you what I'm running on that inverter. Here it is. Cheap window unit, it's uh, 5,000 BTU. I know it's a little noisy, um, but it's on high cool. Uh, it's blowing cold air. And we are plugged in to our cheap little power inverter. It'll run around 10 hours on a 300 amp hour battery. So, uh, you know, kind of show you, you don't have to spend a lot of money to uh, make things work and have air conditioning. That inverter was, you know, 100, over a hundred dollars uh these window units they're walmart they're, they're cheap i don't know they're a little over a hundred dollars too but uh 200 bucks there you have air conditioning in your cell phone works for me all right one last project for this video i have here a temperature oil pressure and voltage gauge all in one the good thing about this gauge it has an alarm output so if any of those three get out of a preset, um, whatever you want to make it, it'll send power to this blue wire and I can put that to an alarm and it should go off. Say you're cruising at night, not paying attention, just on watch every now and then. Something goes out of whack, you know, this will, uh, hate to say it, but wake you up or, uh, you know, at least alarm you that something's not right. So you don't burn up your engine. These were 28 bucks on Amazon. So the quality here, um, probably not the best, but uh, hey, it's a budget build. So uh, keeping with that budget plan, we're going to try to put this in and see if the $28 Amazon gauge was worth it. Will it save the boat in the event of a failure? We'll see. That's what we got to work with. We're going to see if we can get it hooked up here and uh, see how it goes. All right, I'm out here in the uh, cockpit here. And uh, here's where we got our gauges at that questionably don't work. But the hole's there already. Um, hopefully it's the same size. I think I'll just, since the oil pressure doesn't work at all, I'll just pull it out and uh, hopefully put it in there. There should be wires all the way up to it. And uh, yeah, let's see what the other side looks like. Well, simple as this. And I think these leads are gonna be long enough. I can reuse them and uh, hook them up to the sensors actually inside. Actually the thing came, the cheap Amazon gauge came with sensors. It came with a temperature sensor and it also came with an oil pressure sending unit so uh 28 bucks i don't know how you can go wrong well if it don't work we'll know how it went wrong but uh if it works that would be uh, quite a deal so let me get this taken apart and i'll get right back all right moment of truth is it the same size well, I got it all. all right guys i got it all temporarily wired up um so let's see if it works we have power and we had an alarm but it quit not sure why so let's see let's start it up here all right so i got the sensor in and the gauges so i don't know if you can see it or not there we go that run for just a minute it says 140 140 degrees uh the engine's off so oil pressure's at zero so it says off uh, the batteries are showing 12, 12, 5. 
Me and Wes started it up and ribbed it up. It went up to uh, 14. And uh, yeah, once you shut it off, start it up, shut it off, the alarm will go off. It seems to work, so I don't know, 20 bucks. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try it out here, um, get some water hooked up to the engine and uh, let it run for an hour or so uh, on the stands here, just with water on the water hose and make sure everything's working and uh, hope for the best. We're getting there, guys. All right, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, next week, we're planning on adding some lazy jacks to help get that sail down in a hurry. Uh, and we have a name for this thing. So uh, hopefully the decals will be in uh, next week and uh, we can show you guys what she's going to be called. Um, but stay tuned. And if you would, click that like button and be sure to subscribe for the latest updates. So as always, at this point, no hurricanes, everything's on schedule, and life is good. Thanks for watching, guys.